what's good what's popping i am back it's been a minute i know i'm sorry as y'all can tell the new background the new room first time recording in it i am pressed all right if you're new to my channel welcome my name is diamond and this is the naked diamond channel <laughs> I'm being extra there. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm being extra. I just missed y'all. But I'm here for an update. I'm going to go over everything that's been going on. If you have not been following or watching, for everyone that knows, I have had gastric bypass surgery. I have officially lost 100 pounds and I am pressed. So this video is going to be my update. I'm actually going to have plastic surgery, so I am pressed. So stay tuned. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and the notification gang. <laughs> All right. So this video, I'm not going to go over everything. I'm going to give y'all a quick rundown and show y'all what I'm packing in my bag. This is my first time doing this. So I don't know. I really been in these different groups and I just been buying everything. So, I'm going to just show y'all what I'm packing. So, first off, I am going to the Dominican Republic. I am going to Dr. Australia Baez um, in Santa Domingo. I will be doing Lipo, Lipo 360, Tummy Tuck, and a BBL. Um, this first package that I have gotten, it is $5,300 USD. She does not accept Dominican pesos. I think that's the currency, Dominican pesos. It's only all cash, U.S. dollars. Um, for that price, you have to have the BMI between 20 and 33.4. And I'm reading off the exact thing of what they send you and give you all, they give you all the information. So this is not just notes that I'm writing down. I'm reading exactly what um, she sent me. Also, I was looking into a arm lift, and that is an extra $4,600, not bad. So, included into that price of $5,300, I had to send a $300 deposit to hold my dates. And included into the package, it says it's a 10-day stay in a recovery house with meals and your medical staff included. Airport pickup and drop off, that's important. But that's only if you're going to stay at the recovery house and not at an Airbnb. You get six massages post-op, surgery fees with your first compression garment, which is your Faha, and your um, first lipo. I think it's your back and ab boards that is included in that too. Anesthesia evaluation, cardiologist evaluation, and overnight nurse for the day of surgery. Um, you get laboratory tests. And you get the COVID-19 test before your surgery, EKG, surgery insurance, and a venous Doppler. I guess that's to check to see if you got blood clots. That's included into the whole entire package. What the package does not include. So listen, I, I need y'all to get your pen, get the right in, because these totals, I'm about to hit y'all. So... From my understanding, they always say bring like an extra couple thousand just backup money because not included into that package, I don't even know how to read this, echocardiogram, that's an extra $100, palmologist evaluation, $100, thorax tomography, I don't know what that is, $100, blood transfusion, $350, and that's only in case you need it. Um, medication after surgery, anywhere between $250 and $300. Um, the oxygen chamber. Everyone, I'm not really sure what the oxygen chamber, from my understanding, everyone doesn't get it. And that's an extra $300. Um, your BMI must be under 35. You must be under the age of 50. And not be a diabetic before surgery. So... Can y'all please, can y'all please check your BMI and you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to mind my business because y'all be killing me with not wanting to check your BMI. If your BMI is like 40, you're definitely overweight and I need you to lose some weight. Be real with yourself. 
<laughs> ah, all right. I think this is it. I really think this is it. So Dr. Baez, like she's really insisting on you getting blood work done before you come there a month before, a couple weeks before. So you can know what you're working with. Because even when you get there, she's going to give you blood work as well. But still, get yourself checked out before you even go. Already, I did, um, I think I booked my, I booked my plane ticket. Booked my plane ticket and I paid like $500 for my plane ticket. So I will be staying 14 days. I'm going to stay past the 10 days included, which means I'm just going to have to pay the extra money when I get there. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, I just rather be safe than sorry and have somebody watch out for me so I can heal all the way up before I come back home. So let me show y'all what I bought. Your girl went overboard and I really like balled out with buying material. So let's get to this bag. All right. Oh, y'all probably can't. Can y'all see this? No. This is only my suitcase and this doesn't have any of my clothes in here. I just, as I've been buying stuff, I just been throwing it in boxes and throwing it in my suitcase. But I've accumulated a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm about to just show y'all everything I'm about to show y'all. I'm I'm not taking it with me. I just have not packed. I just been buying stuff and put it together. So this is what I got. I'm gonna start out with my medication. First, to get my blood levels right, I've been taking um blood builder the pills two of those a day i've been taking hemoplex i think you're supposed to take them like three times a day or three but i only take two pills vitamin c b12 um because i did have gastric bypass surgery i do take my bariatric multivitamins included vitamins i said vitamin vitamins that um i'm supposed to have on a regular basis sometimes i take bi biotin but that stuff is making me constipated, and I don't like it. I don't like it. So, let's start off with my medication. My first thing that I bought is, can y'all see that? Hail Fast. You can get this off of Amazon. They have pre-op and post-op Hail Fast, so this is just going to prep you for surgery to have your, heal, your scars heal up pretty good and everything. I got pre-op. Because for my post-op, I will be taking the wound supplement. What is the actual name? Yeah, wound support. I'll be taking wound support. I have that. Um, and it says it has five types of collagen, supports skin recovery, help tissue response, and supports wound healing. So I have this. Also, what is this? My Arnica tablets, I got that. This is supposed to help with pain. I have my Arnica tea. Like I'm really not playing because I'm not a big fan of drugs, drugs. So I don't want to be like a pill popper. I really don't. Not no oxys, not no perks. I ain't trying to take none of that. So try and get right. I got my Arnica gel. And for some reason, I am in Dr. Baez's Facebook group. Um, apparently, Dr. Baez is not a fan of Arnica gel. I don't know, but I'm going to take it. Apparently, when you get there, she wants you to buy Biofin. Biofin and Thrombactive. I think this is the right one. I don't know, so I'm going to find out. So I will also give y'all a um, update while I'm there to see if this is what she really used. I just wanted to get it here because I think I paid $16 and this came from Italy somewhere. And this was from Amazon, I think for like $20 or $30. I bought this, so I'm going to take this instead in case she does not decide to use the Arnica gel. And that is going to be used for your massages. So we're gonna see um, gas relief, gas relief medicine, stool softeners in case you get constipated from the medication. What is this? Lymphatic 
lymphatic drainage drops. So once you get lipo to help you drain all the fluid when you get your massages, apparently you're supposed to drop some of this under your tongue. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. And I'll tell y'all. Um, like I said, since I don't want to pop pills, I bought these multivitamin patches. So after surgery, I can just stick these patches on for eight hours. And it says it has 27 essential vitamins and minerals with iron, B12, and calcium. So I'm going to use these instead of taking all my vitamins and pills with me. Lighten up my load. Um, of course, they always tell you take lozenges with you because your throat be hurting. I don't know. They be sticking stuff down your throat when you sleep. Don't know. I ain't here for it. So that's all. That's really all my medication. I'm about to get into the nitty gritty with y'all. Um, and most of the stuff, I'm going to be honest, came from Amazon and Walmart. Like, I really didn't go anywhere else. So I got a pack of lipo foams. This is a three pack. This came from Amazon. Um, Oh, here we go. Compression socks. Compression, compression, compression is a big thing. So I got a whole pack. These came from Amazon too. Apparently, you're going to need compression socks for when you're walking around, especially on your flight home. I did book a flight with a layover so I could have some rest time in between. And so I won't be as swollen. So these are going to be my best friend. Where's my stuff? Dang. Your, your girl was really... I was really getting into some things when I went shopping. <laughs> ah, I don't even know what half this stuff is. Okay, so I got a Perry bottle. To wash my cooter and my booty to rinse it off. Because when you're in the DR, apparently because of the water... You can't take a shower there after surgery. You got to wait until you come home or for a little bit. So cool. And more than likely, since I'm getting my butt done, I don't know. I heard you really can't wipe your butt for real, for real. You might need some assistance. So I got this. Put the water in there. Squish, squish. Do what you do. What else in here? So, you know, everyone see the little pee thing, right? And I got it, and I was like, what is that? What is that doing? My my, my, cooter, my cooter ain't fitting in this. So, I'm not trying to have pee everywhere. So, I went and got one of these. The full on. Let me take it out so y'all can see this. Let me open up this thing. I got a full thing. You see that? It's going to fit in there. Look at this. This compared to this. What am I doing with this? What am I doing with this? Pee gonna be everywhere. So I got this. Do what I do. Dump it out and keep it moving. Um, <laughs> y'all know I ain't right. I'm just being completely honest with y'all at this point. Um, I'm not a vet. I'm a newbie. This is my first time going. I'm going by myself. So I'm a little nervous. So I'm trying to be fully prepared with everything. I even ordered these like barf bags, like little barf bags, just in case I get sick and have to throw up. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to remove like that. So I got these just in case. Um, what, I got? what are these? Oh, syringes. So if you're not familiar with the whole surgery world or whatever most of the time if you got a seroma fluid sometimes you might have to drain yourself i'm really not trying to drain myself but i bought these and the needles to go with them hopefully when i get back home i can find someone that can drain me when they do my massages and that will alleviate the extra work that i have to do but I just bought these as a backup just in case I can't find anyone to drain me if I do get a seroma. 
don't forget when you do that type of stuff you need your glove so definitely get glove so i got a whole box of gloves you gotta be careful gotta be safe um what is this a whole box of what is this antiseptic alcohol wipes yes the alcohol wipes to wipe down anything especially if you're gonna do drain yourself whatever you're gonna do i got wipes galore i'm not gonna lie i got baby wipes i got flushable bathroom wipes what is this the Bactive Disinfectant Wipes in here. Um, oh, that's more flushable wipes. Oh, yeah. How do you pronounce it? Hippocleans? Hippocleans? I got this to clean myself before. You can use this or Dio. I just decided to go with this because I'm really not into the bar of soap. So, I'd rather use this instead. I feel like I am missing stuff. Nope, I'm not. My lipo boards. These came from Amazon together in one pack. So my backboard, just a plain one. Hopefully this does the job. And my ab board, just the two pack. I think I paid maybe like $15 for these two. I honestly can't remember all the prices because I've been buying stuff for months and just collecting, collecting, collecting like a hoarder. <laughs> and also I have Benadryl gel just in case my incisions or anything start itching. I got this to rub on them. What else is in the bag of goodies? Oh yeah. These are what belly button plugs and shapers. Y'all might not be able to see it. I don't know. Like they're clear. You really can't see anything anyway. They're clear. Um, some of the surgery vets said get some of these, put in your belly button, because you're gonna get a whole new belly button so you can shape it. And they come in. I have multiple different sizes in here, so I'm not sure if it's for different stages or how big you want your belly button. I'm not sure. I have a portable safe. Amazon as well for your money, cell phone, whatever else you got. Because you don't want to leave it with nobody. You don't trust them. You don't know them. If you don't know them, sis, get it. <laughs> I have that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just really, I'm, I'm, I'm running through stuff like fast. Really, really fast because I need to study. I got to study. I got some exams to take. So, <laughs> I decided to give y'all a video because I missed y'all. I love y'all. But, um, got to get it moving. So, this is going to be my big girl stuff. I went and bought these. Depends. I really did because... I heard some people be having some accidents and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up fast enough to even use that little cup. So I got these just in case I don't make it. These are Tinea. It says stylish black underwear, extra absorbent, um, and they're in a size XL. So I don't know. I'm going to just, I'm not going to take the whole pack with me, but I'm going to just pack a few. Of course, I'm going to take my under regular underwear, but, um, Never know what's going to happen. So, I got these on backup. Also, oh, I got the big thing of Chuck's pads. Is this right? Yeah. Underpads to lay on the bed for any drippage of blood. Um, Might be leaky. Might be a leaky mess. So, why not? I ain't trying to mess the beds up. I don't want to mess my beds up. I really ain't trying to mess their beds up. So, I got them. I'm going to take a few with me. But also, I seen some girls from the Dollar Tree. They went ahead and grabbed this clear um, shower liner. Especially if you're going to stay at an Airbnb. They charging, they charging now for people messing up the sheets and stuff. So, you can get a shower liner. 
lay it on the bed so you're not leaking on stuff safe nobody wants a bloody mess okay nobody ain't trying to clean that up what else i got i got the value kit wound care just it's just a bunch of gauze and wraps um i got some more gauze pads this is just for my incisions i even bought liquid liquid skin for minor cuts cracks and abrasions i don't know if i'm ever going to need this but i just figured let me pick it up this came from dollar tree as well um like the ace bandages these brown little wraps dollar tree um can't go wrong what else in here Oh, the waterproof, like waterproof bandage tape. Sorry, y'all. Like the glare is just terrible. I mean, I'm on the floor and on my phone. It's just terrible. So waterproof tape for my um, incisions. Extra, extra thick, always overnight pads. This will be for lipo holes, anything that I would need. I have these to cover my incisions. Um, what I'm going to tell y'all, like, surgery life, this ain't no broke bitch shit. Like, you cannot be a broke bitch and decide to get surgery because shit is real. Stuff is expensive. All this stuff adds up over over um, time. And, yeah, I done kicked out some money. Definitely done kicked out some money. And I don't even think I'm finished yet. I do need like Tums. I do need, yeah, I definitely need Tums. And I'm think I need something else and I can't remember. But I am taking like COVID-19 sanitizer spray. Um, like little disinfectant stuff. I'm gonna take that with me so I can clean as I go. Hand sanitizer. I have a box of mask here that I'm gonna take. Um Oh, let me back scratch. Either I'm gonna scratch my back or I'm gonna scratch my ass. Something getting scratched. <laughs> but this thing came from Dollar Tree. Ah. Oh, let me tell y'all. So when I get there, I am going to um I'm gonna um where am I gonna damn what is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm gonna get my BBL pillow there, my BBL um pillow, and I think it's what's the other pillow called? It's another pillow too that I'm gonna get there. So it's a service that my um recovery house have when he got a hookup. This girl, she's gonna bring it to you, and you just buy it from her, and I'm gonna come back home with it. Apparently, the BBL pillows are different there than when you get them here, so I don't know. I'm just going to try it. It is what it is. But I also bought. Don't laugh at me. Like if you a vet and you watch this. Don't laugh at me. Because I don't know no better. I don't know. So I don't know if it's going to work. The avocado. The avocado float. Because it got the booty cut out. And some people said it worked magic. Because the BBO chance is just. You don't want too much with the prices. Just. You're not going to use it forever, so I didn't want to buy one. But I did buy a no-gravity chair. I think that's the name of it, no-gravity chair. So I could cut the little butt out so I could sit down. You know what? I'm going to just give you a tutorial on that one. That's I'm going to just have to give you a tutorial with the egg crate on how I put it together because some girls be having some good videos. I see people be improvising with what they use. But I'm really not trying to buy a BBL chair. So I'm going to make my own or use the avocado. And I did, you know what? I got an Amazon package that I ain't open. Heck, I ain't got no name. But I'm gonna... uh, let me get this one. I did get a pack of this. Juven, okay? So... The girls live by this. They say Juven is the absolute best. It helps with healing and everything. Um, what exactly does it say? It says includes collagen protein, therapeutic nutrition powder for wound healing. So they say drink this. 
mix this with some juice your juice or some water and this is going to help as well because i'm staying there for two weeks but when i get, come back i'm going straight back to work so i'm not going to have no downtime so i'm really trying to be prepared and have everything and just trying to get these incisions healed and out the way what else is that i thought it was a mouse over here but i'm tripping it ain't it's me i'm tripping i'm bugging so yeah I got my juvin and this was like i want to say like this was almost like 50 some dollars or 80 like this stuff is expensive this ain't cheap but i'm like it better work and how much how many packages this is 30 packs let me open this up and see what it's given what we given because i was mad i really paid all this money for this but the girls if you got food stamps they take food stamps on amazon for this I don't have no food stamps, so I was mad. Oh, yeah, so it's like a regular little packet. This is the orange flavor. Orange flavor, so they do have fruit punch, but I wasn't paying all that money for that. So I got all orange, so I'm going to mix it with some pineapple juice or something, and we're going to give what a give today, okay? Um... I bought multiple little like fanny packs. This is supposed to be like a discreet fanny pack that's supposed to lay flat underneath of your clothes so don't nobody see. Um, I got a regular little fanny pack here and I got like a throw half bag for going out. So we're gonna see y'all, that's really it. Ain't nothing, oh yeah, I found some more. I got some more on the tablet. Got these from Walmart. Y'all, like that, that's really it right now. I'm just, I just gave y'all everything. Everything. So, yeah. Thank you guys for staying tuned, enjoying my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped. I just wanted to give y'all something. So, this was like a pre surgery, pre packing type video. <laughs> When it gets close for me to leave, I will um do another video and an update. I'm going to show y'all how I put my no gravity chair, whatever that thing called. I'm going to show y'all how I put that chair together so I can have that to sleep on when I come back. And what else? Oh, I meant to tell y'all about... So, my clothes, as far as I'm packing, y'all see, wasn't no clothes in here. The suitcase was filled. It wasn't no clothes in here. So, your girl got to get it together. But my t-shirts to put underneath of my faja, I have the seamless t-shirts, so no itching, no, um, what do you, what is it called? You know when it, so the shirt don't be, the little crease of the shirt don't be rubbing up against your skin, so I got the seamless t-shirts. I got house dresses, some regular nightgowns, some like roses, they were like $5.00. I ain't going over here to impress nobody. Your girl about to be comfortable. I'm about to take these Nike slides and a pair of tennis shoes and got all dresses. Like, who am I impressing? I got two robes. I got a thicker robe and I got like a silk robe, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, What else? What else? What else is it giving? I got some granny drawers too. I ain't taking no cute drawers because they only about to see me in a faja and some compression socks and some slides. We all there for the same thing. Period. All right. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm terrible, but I really think that's it. So thank you guys for coming and stay and staying tuned. I missed y'all. It's been a hot second. Um, yeah, ask me questions. Follow my YouTube page, naked underscore diamond, and that's naked with an eight. Okay. Don't get it twitted. Don't get it twitted. Peace. <laughs> oh yeah i forgot so i know i didn't go into detail about a lot of stuff but i will i can't because bitches be looking for me and bitches be clocking so i can't give y'all all the details but when i get there i will give y'all full details and dates and give y'all the tea okay okay trust me Surgery is coming up soon and y'all will see these pics. Y'all will see these videos. But as of now, I got to keep it a little 
a little bit low-key on wraps. I can't give y'all all the tea yet, all right? 